good morning guys it's what about 4 30 in the morning just left accra on my way to konongo which is about three hour drive maybe if there's traffic maybe more maybe a bit less if there's no traffic but i put something on my social media and i'll read it out to you guys for my christmas day tv special denta show i want to surprise an amazing mother who overcame challenges in their life and is an inspiration to others. This is something that I wanted to just celebrate a mother. I had loads of DMs, loads of comments. Some of them were really touching. God bless you for this kindness. Hmm. Pleading for my hardworking mum, but don't have the capital to start her own business. She is forcing, but no help. She really needs to be surprised. But there was one particular one that really touched me. That actually came through my DM. Um, it's a, a woman who lives in Konongo. She has five children um, and uh, two grandchildren. Her daughter died while she was pregnant. Apparently she was poisoned. I don't know how true that is, but you know, that's what the mother um, said. But I, it wasn't actually the mother who wrote to me, but somebody in the area who feels that the mother should be celebrated and helped and she sent a video of the woman and the video basically showed the woman in a house uncompleted house um, that basically had nothing in there um, the roofing is not done so when it rains they basically get wet and you know in Ghana has been raising it's been raining quite a bit um, there's no furniture in the in the room. They're sleeping on the floor, and so she said, "Denta, if you could help this woman, if you could help this woman, I would really, really appreciate that." I have no to be fair and soon as so. I then swap a day, some anaka baby, Fabi, a honour on my day. One more day, and Tianya, and where dear was our dear one. I chop, warm, I have no more so. Eja, any other. I have so no more da. Her story really touched me. It really, really touched me, and I thought, you know. For Christmas, let's do something special. You see, if we're able to support our women, the women thrive. Because in Ghana, this is a fact. When you help a woman, you help generations. When you build a woman, you build generations. That's why I'm so passionate about helping women, young women. Women own almost half of all businesses in Ghana. This is a MasterCard report that was done, right? Almost half of the businesses in Ghana are owned by women. And the second edition of MasterCard Index, which help women entrepreneurs. 10 African countries made the list with Ghana, ranking the highest with 46% of women business owners. So I think that's, that's a really good fact for us to know. So we really need to support our women. Women are just always thriving to do something even in the markets they're just haggling they're just pushing they're hustling to make sure that they feed their family this is all part of the journey to Konongo but um yeah so ah uh, I love this I love this fact man women are entrepreneurs in Ghana man we're all nearly all entrepreneurs so yeah let's continue we are going to celebrate and um, basically like honor but please do not forget to subscribe hit the red button as much as you can and spread the word share this this is going to be a very touching story quick stopover before we continue the journey obviously i haven't had breakfast so i need to have some breakfast Yes, we'll meet by the pan. Hey, one hour. Hey, we are sure. <laughs> okay, Matty, but that's it. Thank you. <laughs> it's so 
me a sorry of a quality in a breaking car. What's it? The petrol station be walk on and go. Ah, okay. Yeah. So, my hometown, I'll probably do a little stopover just so you can, you guys can see where Denta is from. Denta was born, I was born in Jaso. That's where Obo is from, that's where Sa Kodye is from, that's where Bullet, who manages Wendy Shea, is from. So, there's quite a lot of big people from the, the, the little area. We are in Jaso! Ah! So this is Jaso, this is where I was born. Little old me. So I get very emotional when I come here. I know that down there, my dad's house is around there somewhere. Um, Ekriago's house is somewhere down there. I wish I could take you on a tour to Jaso, but I have to do it another time. But um, yeah, I just wanted to show you where I'm from. Ah, so super so back camera, so brave. I'm not going to say what i Bra, bra, bra. And you, what's your name? 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 Okay, Okay, I'm business. I'm a a a Papa, I need a coffee. A coffee, what thing? Aye. Jazz. Only, only, just a hint. Only, just. Aye. Just. Patrani. And so, so free animal. Yeah, yeah. Oh, only make we go. Make we go. Make we go. Make we go. If you be, 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 if Sa, I'm going to be with you. Sa, I'm going to be with you. Hello, ma. What? What's your name? Yes. How are you doing? Yes. 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 I'm not sure about you. 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 i am this man, after talking and you know mentioning names and stuff, he actually knew who I was. Um, there was a particular man that raised me when my parents left, um, Akufito, and then later he passed away. And uh, Keba um, also looked after me, and they were very popular in the area. And so everybody, everybody knew who I was. Um, I, I'm told at that at that age. And so it's just surprising that just going through a conversation, this man, you know, knew who I was and, you know, knew my parents. Um, so that was really, really... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Keba, and now Kufito. Hey, 
Right then and then, this guy subscribed to my YouTube channel. He googled Odana and subscribed. So you need to subscribe as well. After nearly four hours of driving, we finally reached Konongo, where the lady who wrote me on Facebook met us and took us round to the house. Good morning. <laughs> This is where the lady lived in this uncompleted building with no curtains, no door, a leaking roof. We got to meet her and her family where they all lived. I introduced myself to her and the reason why my team and I were there. And to Moya saying, Patron, Palame, me, no, no, me, no, so, but, no, 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 for the children. Yeah. So you go to the farm, yeah. you take contumery, yeah. and then you sell it. Yeah. Okay. Can I come inside and see? Uh, okay. come. Is this building yours though? Is the building yours? Yeah. The then, house is yeah. house. Yeah. New Kulunya, okay. Yeah. No okay. No. okay. Okay. Good morning. Let's say. And to my mini. <laughs> so, what's your name? Frank Marfo. Frank Marfo. Yeah. Who would you say? I told you uh, 24 years. 24. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm saying. I'm saying. I'm saying. I'm saying. I'm saying. Oh, I'm saying is not good. Uh, uh, so would I. You have to stop because galamse is not good. Galamse is a local term used in Ghana for illegal and unregulated gold mining operations. The havoc caused by Galamse activities include destruction of forest cover and soils through introduction of toxic waste into soil and water bodies that often lead to health problems. And so the government has been very particular about stopping Galamse. So I really want to encourage this family not to be doing Galamse. Did you go to school? Did you study anything? Is there anything that you think that you are good at? Mm, okay, I guess at school, no, no. Okay, okay. But who who wants to say, Juma? Is there anything you can do with your hands? Okay. But so the two gold. And then sa and to what do you mean? Do you study a baby? Aha. But you can do something else with it. And and you? Two months ago. Two And who's what you saying? I was seventeen. Yes. You're seventeen. So what are you doing? Are you currently in school? No. Yeah, I, I, I'm a worker. You're a worker? Yeah. What would you work? Uh, Galamsey. You do Galamsey too? Yeah. No. Why? 
Ah, but make us a free SHS. Books are over tono. Oh, no, 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 Hairdressing. You want to do hairdressing? Yes. Okay, we're going to find you somewhere to start your hairdressing. Okay, thank you. And you must make sure that you stick to it and you do it. Okay. So that it will better you and it will help your family members. Okay? Okay. Especially your mother. Yeah? Yes. And you? My name is Dermati David. Okay. And how old are you? I'm 19 years old. You're 19? Who now is a footballer? No. Show Naya. What do you do? I'm also doing Oh. Galamse family. Oh. Galamse family. Oh. No. No, 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 no. No. Can't be doing Galamse. We need to change that. Yeah? It's not something that's going to help you in life. It's just a, it's a now thing. Right? And it's a now thing that is affecting generations of people. This Galamse. Osha and Nema, a puna, a yefin, so whom say any panum. And it's killing a lot of people. And say, Yes, a mujai. I say, Yem pebby before fra, will be to me, aye. The two children here. The mother is dying. Your daughter. What happened? What happened to your daughter? She was pregnant. Yeah, somebody gave her medicine. Yeah, die. Somebody give her medicine yeah. to die? Poison? Poison. Oh. But she left two beautiful children with you. Mm. Yeah. Was she trying yes. to abort the baby? Mm. Was she trying to get rid of the baby? Uh -huh. Abortion. Abortion. Okay. And then she died with it. Okay. So this is where you cook. This is where you do everything. Yeah. And see if I make a round. This is your room? Yeah. Yeah, I'm sleeping. My goodness. Where's your bed? I'm not getting from. So this one I'm sleeping. My, 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 my husband's sleeping here. I take my children, I take my children sleeping here. So oh. My husband is dead. We need to make sure that we get you a bed. Yeah. A proper bed to sleep on. Yeah. Okay. I'm doing this show to basically say, say, oh yeah, yeah, Santua. Oh yeah, yeah, mommy. Oh now, oh yeah. So that you can keep looking after your children. No more here. And per se, I'll rehearse. I'll be chill. I'll rehearse. I'll rehearse. cry. I'll cry, man. I'll cry. I'll cry. I'll cry. I'll cry. I'll cry. I'll And then, roofing, no. And I'm saying, no, roofing, no. Aye, aye. Ya top no. We bought a door. We're gonna fix the roofing so that when it rains, it doesn't come inside. Into me uncle shopping. Me uncle took to me and my umbrella. We need to call him. Now she ding. We say me uncle pon ti on pay bo. See, you did tell me. Me uncle pon door. You did tell me. Oh door pa. Oh, you be feel how? Oh my. And now man on so you be making sure so ba no. Hairdressing up so aye no. You be to your camera. What's it? It's a little bit. What's it? so. Ma. Because the name of our no, and you easy. It's easy. It's easy. It's easy. It's easy. It's easy. It's easy. It's
This is where you bath? Yeah. I don't need garlic. Oh my God, this just shows that a lot of people are going through a lot, guys. And sometimes we are privileged more than we know. So we're going to buy some roofing sheets. We're going to buy a door for them. We're going to buy some beds. We're going to buy a fridge that they can have at least, you know, something chilled. Um, and then other food stuff for them. Um, this is a personal foundation for us. This is the Dear Denta thing. You write and we respond. This is something that's really on my heart to help as many women as we can. Because when you help a woman, you help a whole community. So this is the door that I got her to buy yesterday. And this is the roofing sheet to cover some of the spaces where when it rains, what well, well, that's not even covered. Um, so that when it rains, it doesn't affect her and her, her children. So after this, we're gonna go to, to town to go and do some shopping for her and buy some stuff and uh, make sure that she's, she's well catered for. Into your quiet shopping now, mau. Into umpani, umpani yeto miensa. Na yesa to carpet au de bese ho. Na yeto unsu. Na yeto pillows na kusuya ne kertsinsa. Ubeti media sain udem ho no money oil. Na mo na fridge. Into carpet ano so be yepro no. Ugusu au yepro na udi bese ho. Na wa ye roofing no. And to say, you know, bad girl, no. Your friend is saying, Ali, my bra. You see, I call Salon Ho. I wish I could do so much more for this family. I paid for the, the daughter to have training at the salon, which I felt that at least if she has training, she'll be able to do something on her own or even work for the lady after the training. Is it any day now, or bitch, now, or for three years? Okay, no? three years. And me, 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 bo. Okay, me, bo. Me, bo, con, ro, rasta. It's a who do be a, ye, bo, be a, me, ti, me, a, bo. Okay. And I'm sure you see, bo, no. I'm sure you see, bo, no. Okay. And 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 I'm sure you see, bo, no. Okay. Oh, okay. Me, ye, nerves. Oh, okay. Nini, na, wa, ha, no. Okay. Nini, na, ye, hiyan, sa, o, ma, kola, na, o, ba, no. O, be, ye, su, ti, a, ma, me. Me, chure, ni, 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 na, ha. And now make sure say we be sure that we know ye many men must say because we know ba how we have no money. Omu ni na ye men ma. We have to make sure say we be yes sir yes and to ano ama o mame. Now we are born who more thing. I born who mame because we know you are born. And man, when you come for a shrine, I brush so be brave. It's a who and I saw we take you mame button. Now, Buono. What's it? What damn pass with that? Who damn pass with that? It's a no bedam pass with that. Bedapi loso. Okay. Into Yamin Shramo. Into ma, when I'm a DJ. Why? Into a hope set. Yamin Shramo. I think I'm being in Yamin. Oh, me a quantum. See a mamma. The big yams about crossing one, 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 one. Matty. Matty. Uh, I'm going to go to the house. 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 I'm going to go
I encourage the boys to look at other professions rather than Gallum say. We went through the house, which was in a, such a bad state. No cupboards, um, the roof and sheets were, had holes in them. It was an uncompleted building and they occupied half the space. This was so emotional to see. The young guy had saved his fufu because they didn't have soup to eat it with. So emotional. This is how I celebrated Christmas Day with this family in need. Dear Denta is something that I have been doing for a while now. The more women we bless, the more lives we bless and we touch. Today's lesson for me has made me appreciate where I come from and where I am today. Um, there's a lot of people that are going through a lot of things and sometimes we don't even know. And sometimes we complain about little things, minor things. But this is, this is a family that has never slept on a mattress before or a pillow. Has never had the opportunity to buy a bag of rice. And sometimes we complain and complain and complain. Let's be grateful for the little things we have. And if you're out there and you want to support this cause so that we can bless more people's lives, more women's lives, and so thank you so much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. I want to wish you all a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. God bless you.